pure, fresh water, more valuable than gold. We can live without gold, but we die without water. This chalk stream water is so rich in nutrients that it feeds an abundance of rare wildlife, including numerous aquatic insects and rare creatures like our native white-clawed crayfish. Wild brown trout fatten up on insects and colourful minnows provide the river's bread and butter. Food for kingfishers, trout and herons. Water voles flourish on the riverside vegetation and numerous dragonflies hunt over the water. The water bubbles up from underground aquifers in the chalk reservoirs that fill up during winter rains and then flows downstream. This is the source of the River Allen in Dorset, a river of chalk-filtered water so clear that it's almost invisible. This fragile ecosystem is unique habitat. Chalk streams are found only in England and northern France. We have 80% of the world's resource and the River Allen is one of the finest examples. Flowing from above Wimborne St Giles to the River Stour just below Wimborne Minster, the Allen is just 13 miles long, but its variety of aquatic life is remarkable. It's one of the most prolific rivers left in England for the increasingly rare white-clawed crayfish, our only native crayfish, and surviving only with plenty of clean, well-oxygenated water and rocks under which to hide from predators. They're young, even being eaten by kingfishers. Kingfishers prefer small fish, and particularly vulnerable are the minnows when they migrate upstream onto the shallow gravels to spawn. The variety of habitats the river provides is part of the secret of its diversity. Different depths and flows encourages different aquatic insects to breed and riverside plants such as purple loosestrife and hemp agrimony provides nectar for land-based insects. Mute swans are attractive in this lovely water meadow landscape, but they denude rivers of their weed growth and can seriously deplete the chalk streams of much of their biodiversity. One of the swan's favourite meals is ranunculus, the water crowfoot, but this is also one of the most important hosts for aquatic insects, and without insects, fish life will suffer. The colourful grayling is one of the Allen's specialities. For not so long ago, the biggest ever recorded in Britain was caught from these rich waters. They breed successfully here, as do the prolific brown trout. Weed and invertebrates providing food and shelter for growth and clean gravel with a fast flow of water for egg laying. The females have to dig a hollow and remove the silt from the gravel so that when the male fertilises the eggs they don't suffocate from lack of oxygen. He shimmers his body alongside her to encourage egg laying. The adults, and eventually the young, will fatten up on that ultimate prize in chalk streams, the mayfly. Life for the emerging mayfly is short and sweet, and for those trying to become airborne, it's the quick or the dead.
The river Allen's aquatic weed is vital to invertebrate life, but the plants along the bank are important too, not least to the rare but charming water vole. They thrive in small numbers on the river, even within earshot of the bells of Wimborne Minster, the only significant town along this important waterway. In the past, the powerful current has been harnessed by mills, and though it now flows between supermarkets instead, it remains rich in wildlife. In spring, the river rings to the songs of birds, and mallard ducks thrive on bread handouts. But what really surprises both visitors and residents are the shoals of fish. Brown trout grow big on bread intended for ducks, and shoals of dace and even roach benefit from the lack of predators in these busy places. In spring, the dace and roach swim up the River Allen from the Stour to breed in the crystal clear water. But those other specialities of the Allen appreciate the rich pickings too. The grayling that threaten competitors with their colourful dorsal fins. Wimborne was built here and received its name from the confluence of the two bournes, the Allen and Stour. And just below the town, the river ends its 13-mile journey. All this wildlife we've seen on our brief exploration downstream depends on lots of crystal clear water. And even today, salmon and sea trout still travel upstream to spawn on the river's clean gravel. As the Allen flows out into the river Stour, we might do well to remember to save water, not waste it so that this gem of a chalk stream and its wildlife survives for us all to enjoy forever. <laughs>